<clears throat> now, um, this is it's going to be the gameplay version of Final Fantasy 16. Now, my friend Reggie, he 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 bought it and surprised me that he did though because this this game got a lot of talking. But either way, if it, I know him. It, if if it looks like a good game, if it looks like you can build up your character, so your OP, he he's going to buy it. But I totally forgot if it's too much talking. For, if, it don't make sense. Excuse me. He's he's gonna skip it. But this game right here, he told me that he he was watching the whole cutscene. I was like, "What? You watch cutscenes?" But um, yeah, and and he told me if it's if it's good, he he's gonna sit because you know a lot of people keep forgetting. Yes, he got cutscenes. Yes. It got more cutscenes than actual gameplay, but if you look at Final Fantasy 16 as a whole, it all it is is interactive movies, and I love the interactive movie. Like Uncharted is a good interactive movie. Um, the first interactive movie that we all played was Metal Gear Solid for the PlayStation. Well, hell, the Metal Gear Solid series. Is one big interactive movie because Hideo Kojima loves movies, so he's trying to implement that into his games. Look at Death Stranding. You know, yes, um, this is slow burns, like probably twenty hours for the uh, the, the prologue. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so th this is the gameplay. The gameplay is awesome. The fighting. This is like I. I said in the previous video or the segment of this podcast is when it's it's like Devil May Cry. The same fighting style. It's like Devil May Cry to me. And, you know, I like the dodging mechanics. If you dodge at the right time, you pay attention and, and it'll be like a gleam. And then, and then when you press square to attack, oh, shit. Get my camera paused. Anyway, when you press square to attack, you get like a um. There's a fuck that word is. Um. Oh, I forgot the word. I forgot. Uh. uh oh yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. You hit a critical. <laughs> oh man. I mean, it's oh man. Because once you get the habit of dodging the attacks and I mean, you know, at, at the, the perfect time you, you, you hit a critical. That's very cool. Um, shit. Uh, what, what else? Um, the, the elemental powers you get, the icon abilities. That's cool. Right now. I'm like, I think I'm a level 15. I was, I, I'm, I'm not that far in the game, but, um, it, it, it Reggie said, my friend said that, you know, there's going to be some bosses. And all the boss fights that he has, was involved in was pretty much epic. That's this big, huge motherfucker that you're going to fight not once but twice. And he uh, and he is huge as shit. And he beat that. And he and uh, I think he got his power. Uh, um, I think he got Earth and Wind. And of course, you start out with fire. So I'm like, holy shit! This dude, the main character, which I forgot his name. I know it's something common, like Jake, <laughs> Jake from State Farm. Anyway, but uh, <laughs> oh man, it's it's so cool, man. I wish it was more fighting in between the cutscenes, though. But I mean, yeah, I, I can't really say that. I I, I take that back. There is a lot of fighting. If you go the wrong way and you know, like look for treasure sets and stuff, you will like confront an enemy and stuff. You know, it's just keep fighting, uh, keep um, um, fighting enemies to have more experience because it's RPG. So it says um, rank up in your level. Um, there are certain loot that you may get to um to enhance your weaponry that's good um that I, which i don't really 
didn't doubt that was going to happen because it's an RPG and you will get some loot so you can fight better. But man, <laughs> I'm going to play it today before I go to bed. Anyway, <laughs> I, I, I just had to like get that off my chest because there um, are certain things that I left out in the like the previous segment. So um, yeah, there you have it. The, the, the gameplay is awesome and I'm digging. I'm, I'm still digging this game. It's so awesome. 